So ever since the new update came out, we can now finally sell in invite only sessions. But even so, some people are still upset that um, they can now do the Kale Heist for every certain amount of hours. Even ever since it's been nerfed. But don't worry though, because I'm still here to actually help you out in this video. So today I thought I'd show you my way and my route on how to make a ton of money as a solo player. So if you're a solo person like me who doesn't have any friends and you want to know how to make money on your own, I'm here to help you out. I've been doing this now ever since the update came out and I've pretty much made a lot of money back after the update as I don't hardly have any friends to help me with these videos when it comes to money guides but even so I'm, I'm going to help you how you can actually make money solo. So I'm going to show you the best routine and I'm going to show you what route you should definitely do to avoid the cooldowns as well. So other than that, let's get started then. Also before we do start, be sure to hit the like button and also consider subscribing if you want to see me come back to making more money guys for GTA Online ever since the new update's been released. So other than that though, let's actually get into the video. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to do your KO Heist first. Yes, definitely do your KO Heist first. Because the reason why you want to do your KO Heist first is because after you've completed your KO Heist, you're going to have a really long cooldown. So definitely do your KO Heist first, whether you've got Tequila, Pink Diamond, Necklace, you name it. Pretty much at this rate, it don't matter whatever target you get. You can even have like a really crap target and secondary loot. You can only just have cash. But it's still worth doing the KO heist. But definitely do your KO heist first. As you're going to go for the really long cooldown. And it's not worth waiting for 3 hours to go again. I don't know exactly how long it's going to be. But I've heard that it's around 3 hours. But let me know in the comments how long it's exactly going to be. But definitely around 3 hours and something. So... Do your KO Heist definitely first. Uh, as you can get about an easy million from that by now, as we all know. So yeah, so do your KO Heist first. So what do you do after your KO Heist? So what I like to do after I've done my KO Heist is I then now go ahead and call Johan. Because what Johan technically does is he helps you source no club cargo. So this technically works like the business battles that you get in free mode. But since we can do it in an invite only session then this will be a lot easy. But what I recommend you do is to make sure that you get yourself your armoured car and call Johan around near the docks areas because most of the time you will most likely... because you can get do two different types of missions. You can get the cargo mission where you have to steal cargo on a boat or you can get the one where you, get, where you have to steal the truck. But in this clip I actually got the truck for a change but most of the times I've always got the boat mission with the enemies around the boat. So make sure that... You actually call him around um, the dock area and make sure that you have an armored car as well. If you don't, then it don't really matter. But definitely call Johan and then um, collect the cargo. And once you deliver the cargo, then um, then off after all that, you will get another cooldown. So uh, this time you'll get a cooldown for um, 20 minutes. But it's not that even though it's not that bad on like the cow heist with three hours and that. But even so, 20 minutes ain't that bad. So, um, every 20 minutes, you can call Johan again, and he will help you fill up your nightclub really fast. And also, I forgot to mention, always assign your room technicians to all different types of the um, pr product. But this will only work once you've got all the businesses, so make sure you assign everybody to different ones to help you fill it up even faster. Even though you don't need to, don't need to do anything, but definitely do that. So yeah, every 20 minutes. Now, if my nightclub is full, then at, at this rate, I would then sell my nightclub. I know you can sell it for 1.6 million, but I sold mine for 1.1 million, just so I can show you off in a video. Because, now, I think we all know by now that Tony takes him um, 100k cut. So, what I recommend, that if you want to sell it for just a million, then sell it for 1.1 million, as Tony will take 100k and you'll still get a million. Or you can sell it for 1.6 million, even... No, you'll get 1.5. But yeah, what I do next is I sell my nightclub. As it, and there you go. Because obviously with the nightclub, you only get one cell vehicle. So it's really nice. Now what I do next is I then go to the bunker. And then I sell my bunker stock for 1 million. Now I know in this clip I didn't sell it for 1 million. Because I tried to get a really good cell vehicle. As I got phantoms in this clip. 
But the best vehicles you want to for these missions that you can sell solo are the two Phantom Wedges or the Black Insurgents. Now, what if you actually get a vehicle cell that you don't like? So, for example, if you actually get buggies, then the simplest thing to do is to find a new session. Now, you and when you when you do find a new session, you will lose a bit of cargo, but um, it's not that a lot anyway. But for me, it took me four tries to get a good cell vehicle. But even though it's still it's still worth it's still worth it though. So make sure that you get a really good cell vehicle like the Phantoms or the Black Insurgents because you can do them solo. So yeah, that's how you sell the bunker solo. And also, I got 900k. Even though you, if you were really lucky, then you would get a million. But 900k is still not that bad. So make sure that you do your bunker next. And also make sure that you actually buy supplies. Do not actually steal the supplies. Always buy the supplies. So after I do sell my bunker, and whilst I'm waiting for my nightclub and my bunker to restock again, I then now go ahead to either my office or my arcade, and I source a top range car. So yes, I, I now do the vehicle warehouse, because vehicle warehouse you can also do solo, as it's pretty much a really good start off really. Now how do you get top range cars exactly? Well, what you need to do to get top range cars only is you need to make sure that you have 10 standard range cars and 10 mid range cars, but make sure that you don't have any duplicates of the same cars. Like for example, if you get two Banshees, then you want to sell one of them, and make sure that the number plates are not the same either. So if you get one with the same number plate, you sell it. Because what's going to happen is if you get any duplicates, then all you're going to keep getting is low range and mid range cars. And you'll have a hard time getting top range cars. So make sure that you get them one of each. And make sure the number plates are not the same. And then after that, you will only source top range cars. Which I have technically done lately. So I've sold all of my duplicates and the ones with the same number plates. And I have actually got really lucky to get top range cars. Now I know I did get some mid range cars and some standard range cars. But most of the times I've always got top range cars. So make sure that you do that and you'll get some top range cars. Then after I do source that top range car. Then what I'm going to do now is I'm now going to sell it. So pretty much the customization is pretty much easy. Now... If you, as you're watching this video, follow the route that I'm doing, because normally if you have a f have anyone in your lobby, then you won't get these NPCs spawning. But this is what you do: park your car up here, and then all you have to do is to kill the enemies. So lucky enough, I had the explosive shotgun and the explosive rounds for the sniper. So you want to destroy all of these all of these cars. You don't have to destroy the cars; you can just kill the people. But I always destroy the cars anyway. Now, I think they spawn like four times, so technically, just what you can do is count the spawns or just count the cars. So, I always count the eight cars because technically, so it's easy for me to know when they will, will stop spawning. Then, once I've destroyed the eight cars, then I then deliver my top range car and then bang. Simple. And then, from this point, what I can do then is I, I can then even go back and source another top range car. Or move, uh, but so at this rate you can pretty much do whatever you want at this rate. You can even, you know, do do your MC businesses, your CEO crates. It's entirely up to you. And then you pretty much just repeat. I pretty much just keep on repeating the process of the um of the vehicle cargo until I've actually got um the cooldown ready again to do another KO. But even though you can do whatever you want at this rate, you, if you're someone who does crates, you don't have to do vehicle cargo. But if you're someone who does crates and all that, then, you know, go ahead and do that as it's entirely up to you what you do. But this is just my route anyway, and I like to do this route. So pretty much, I just do a lot of vehicle cargo and sell and sell the vehicle cargo or do some crates. But, or whatever this, or whatever you want. But entirely up to you what you do. So pretty much after that, then that's all you do. Then once your chaos house is cooled down again, then you go again. And then wait till your nightclub's full, wait till your bunker's full, and then you go again. So pretty much that's all you do, really. So so pretty much a quick, e a nice, a nice easy, easy, simple guide for solo people. For people like myself, as I don't really play with many people, or they just don't have the new version. Or many of us are just solo, ain't we? So, um, but even so... I really hope this video helped you out, and um, hopefully you'll now know a routine how to do it. But I will make some more guys like this in the future, after the new update. I will do, like, 
you know, a beginner's guide again and all that. Because I tend to do one every couple of, every couple of months, years, you name it, after a new update. But even so, I will make a new, new solo beginner's guide or whatever you do. Whatever you want. <laughs> but even so, that's it for this video. Thank you a lot for watching. And I shall see you a lot in the next one. Take care.